Do you hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence. It keeps this channel ad-free. Hello folks, welcome to Ink Dependence. I'm Mike and today we're taking a look at this ink. This is an ink from Monarca. It's called Arena Blanca and that translates to white sand and it looks like this. Now I don't have a whole bottle of this obviously. I only have this one sample which was kindly given to me by my friend Kimberly and uh, so I'll put a picture up here that is from the Pen Addicts blog. He has just uh, he has just posted this ink and I was like, I'm doing that one today. Can I borrow that picture? And he said, yes. So thanks Brad for letting me borrow that picture. This bottle uh, comes with a stand for your pen. And also they use the Peak Design, or sorry, Shown Design uh, Peak Pen, the Peak Abu for that review. And that's, that's a good match. I didn't even think about it. I've got a different ink in this and it didn't come to mind, but that's pretty cool. Okay, so this is actually the first and so far the only ink that I have put in a pen from Monarca. And that is because it's so cool. Like this is a really interesting looking ink. And so I put it in this pen, which is a Twisby Eco. And I have I've used a fair amount of this ink. Uh, there's not much left, but I was like, I gotta put it in this Eco Jade because that is a that is a cool looking pen, and this ink doesn't look like anything else I have. I mean, look at that. That's wild. So let's take a look at this on some paper. And here we have Monarca's Arena Blanca, uh, which is. I mean, it is white sandy. That reminds me of white sand. I, I don't even know what else to possibly call that. So this is my usual Rhodia 80 grams per square meter paper. It is a little bit on the dry side, I would say, this ink. It's also a little bit thin, as you can see here. Now, an interesting thing about this ink is that it does tend to darken as you uh, as it dries. So you can write something with it, and it'll be incredibly pale, and then it sort of darkens up as it goes. So let's just write a little, a little testing down here. And uh, we can sort of see how that gets darker while we're talking about the rest of it. Now, on copy paper, how does this perform? It's actually a little bit hard to say because it is such a light ink. But uh, there it is. It looks like it performs pretty well. It's got a couple of feathers here and there. But this is Staples 20 pound 30% recycled copy paper, which is the worst stuff in your office copier. And this is a Twisby Eco's medium nib. So uh, pretty good platform for this. Nothing really coming through the back. A couple of spots here and there, which you might notice more if it were a darker ink. But given that it is so pale in general, uh, you don't really you don't really see anything bad there. So I think it worked out pretty well And you can see that this has darkened up nicely like it's very readable as compared to uh, what it was like just a minute ago uh, So uh, this is uh, this is pretty cool. I think it does have a lot of shading I think it shades a little bit too light for me. I like a more saturated ink Perhaps this would need a much uh, wider nib but I'm not actually sure that would make much of a difference given how pale this ink is and on purpose. So if this is intriguing and that looks cool to you, I'd say get yourself some uh, some Arena Blanca. It's uh, Arena Arena Arena. Arena Blanca, yes, that's that's the way to do it. It comes in a 30 mil bottle. It's 20 bucks, uh, and I've uh, I almost bought this at Drum Ghouls, and then I got the I got the samples, so uh, I put them down, and that's a pretty common cost across the board. So, so there you go. Okay, let's get a little bit of a water drop test. Let's take a look at the chromatography. Look at it on some other papers, and look at some 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 inks that might be kind of like it a little bit. I'm gonna jiggle that around there. Doesn't look like much is happening, which is interesting to me. Go ahead and blot it up. All right. Interestingly, it's not, I mean, it's not that much lighter than when it went down, but it's also a very pale ink to begin with. So there's not a lot to, not a lot there to, to lose. There we go. We finally got the rest of the water up. Um, nothing really came up on the on the, the cloth. A little bit of that pale tan, but not a whole lot going on there to see. But check out the chromatography on this one. How cool is this? What are all these colors doing? And what is, what's going on here? I don't even know. This actually looks darker than the writing, which is wild to me. You get a little bit of a gray stain down here, and that's kind of what you have here as well as the gray remains. So would I call this water resistant? No, but you'll be able to recover your writing, I think, if you just pour some water on this. Now, if you pour coffee on it, as uh, 
as I am wont to do occasionally right here, uh, that might that might be enough to overcome the slight gray that's left over. But look at that orange and blue in there, a little touch of green, a little touch of pur purple. Wild, right? And then just a big stretch of nothing. So the gray stayed and this all moved. Really, uh, really interesting, Arena Blanca. I'm, uh, I'm really fascinated with this ink. Okay, let's take a look at it on a couple of other papers. First, we've got Tomoe River. This is a Galen Leather Everyday Book. And uh, Arena Blanca is right here with its medium nib. I think it's actually, let's see if I can get all of these in the shot. Um, I think it's actually easier to read on this one, which is unusual. I'm not sure exactly why that happened. Maybe less of it uh, soaked into the paper, and so more of it stayed on the top and made it more more visible. This is a really interesting ink, but it looks really good on Tomoe River. I, I like that quite a lot. Secondly, this is my currently inked Inky Fingers notebook. This is wheat straw paper, and there's the Arena Blanca right there. It looks okay. Uh, like I said, I think it looks best. It looks best on Tomoe River, which is not what I was expecting from an undersaturated ink. But you can see that it doesn't quite shade as much. It doesn't shade as lightly on uh, Tomoe River as it does on Wheat Straw or on Rhodia. And so you get more of a, uh, you get a more steady color. And I, I think it's very cool. Really, I think worth trying out at least a sample of this Arena Blanca. It's interesting to have on hand. Okay, let's look at a couple of, uh, a couple of inks. So these are Colodex cards. You can find these at your favorite vendor, probably. They are made by my friend Anna Reiner from Well Appointed Desk. There's the Arena Blanca there. And, I mean, <laughs> you can see why I would I had to put that in there, I think, right? Like, it doesn't match, but, man, they're kind of of a piece, yeah? And so interesting. Now, I went through all my browns. I went through my weird inks. I only found two that were, like... I don't know, I thought people might want to see. This doesn't look like anything in my collection. Just, it's very different. I've never seen a sandy ink like this before. Uh, firstly, I pulled Robert Oster's, uh, uh, Robert Oster, rather, Cities of America. This is Kansas City, which for some reason I thought was lighter before. I, it doesn't look like this at all. And then uh, this one right here, uh, Cities of Australia, Brisbane. I think before I had the really bright lights on, these are a little bit more in common. This is just not like anything else. I don't... I don't know, I don't know what to tell you. It's, this is a singular ink, and I don't get to say that too often, although I've said it a couple of times in the last couple of weeks, so that's neat. Uh, but yeah, Arena Blanca, check this thing out. It's really neat. All right, thanks very much for watching. Thank you to Kimberly for sending me this uh, this ink, or handing me to it, hand it to me at a pin show, actually, I think is how it went down. Um, also, look at this, how, how nice is this? Super easy to pick out. There's nothing in that tray that looks like this thing. All right, uh, Arena Blanca, I don't know, uh, check it out. Let me know what you think about this down in the description. This is an ink that you would use because, I mean, it is very light. What are you gonna use it for? I mean, art and all that kind of stuff, for sure. It looks like it could do some cool stuff there, given all the colors that are in here, maybe a water wash of some kind. I'm not arty like that. I don't know how to do it, but that seems interesting with all these colors. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know if I'd use this for writing my own notes and that sort of thing. It seems like it might be hard to refer to when I go back, but I don't know. I think it's cool. Check it out. Arena Blanca. See you later. Peace out.